I'm in my AWS console. So let's first go there and then create a cluster so that we can run our Fargate tasks. To do that, go to the ECS section of the console, go to clusters. If you have any clusters, they will be listed here. So you can have Linux clusters, you can have Fargate clusters, you can have Windows clusters. So what we are going to do is to create a Fargate cluster, which is the easiest to create because all the complexities around networking, the patching is taken care of for you by AWS. So let's go to create a cluster and then select network only powered by Fargate. So that's the type of cluster we want to create. Click create and then select next step. Name of the cluster you can uh, define as my container cluster. If you want to create a new uh, networking, you can click here. Alternatively, you can let the Fargate to manage it. So let's click create, which will create the container cluster for you. So the cluster is successfully created. So if you go into the view cluster, you have my container cluster here. So if you select clusters, you have my container cluster. And inside that, you have the Fargate cluster, which we are going to target our containers. Let's now run a task on this container cluster to see whether it's working fine. To do that, uh, select the cluster. So in this case, my cluster is my container cluster. Go to that. So the status is active. As of now, there's no any running task. How do I know that? If I go into the task, you can find there's no any running task. So let's manually run a task. So there are multiple ways that you can run the task. You can schedule a task that will run on a specific date and time or for specific events. Uh, you can uh, run a task as a service. Alternatively, you can run a task uh, manually with the help of this run new task. So click run new task. I'm going to uh, select the launch type as Fargate because that's the one, uh, the task that we created for. Task definition is my Wolf app site task version one, if it is the first version that you publish. Uh, platform, select the latest. Cluster is the container cluster we just created. Number of tasks I want to create is one. And for the VPC and security group, you can select an existing VPC. So for example, I can select my DevOps uh, VPC so that uh, these containers will run inside that. Uh, for the subnet, uh, select uh, subnet public one and the public two. Security group, uh, you can leave it as default. Uh, alternatively, you can edit it. You can find that uh, it's allowed traffic from port 80 from anywhere on the internet. Uh, alternatively, you can select an existing security group which allows HTTP uh, port 80 access. Uh, click Save. We need to enable a public IP address because we are going to uh, connect to this container uh, through internet. Advanced option, you don't need to specify anything. If you want to assume any IAM role when you run this task so that it can access AWS resources, you can specify here. As of now, my simple web application does not access any AWS resources so that you can leave them as uh, default values. So far so good, run the task. So when you do that, uh, you can find that create task successfully message appears. Uh, so right now the desired state of this task is running, but the, lot of, the last state is provisioning. So it takes some time for it to download the content image and then uh, kickstart it. So click refreshing. So the status is pending. Uh, in a few uh, seconds time, it should be in the running state. So right now what he's doing is uh, downloading the image and then starting that container in the Fargate cluster. So now it's in the running state, which is good. So go to your task here and you can find that the task uh, that we just created, it's in the running state. Uh, to access this, uh, you can use this uh, public IP address, copy that, 
go to your internet browser and then click uh, type that IP address and if everything goes well you can find that uh, you are uh, the dotnet core web application is running uh, as we saw before so welcome to fargate my wolf app and this is the uh, container uh, id ad container id that it gave when it started and if you refresh it uh, you can find the website is working fine so our cluster is working fine we have one task that we manually started the challenge here is that what happens if this task fails, right? Maybe there's an error and this fails. So this content is going to stop. So it will not start again. So in the next section, what we are going to do is learn how to create a service. So if for some reason, if this container fails due to uh, application error or the, um, the whole thing crashing, uh, we can create a service that will automatically monitor the number of containers running or the tasks running and it will automatically maintain that desired uh, number of uh, tasks. For the moment, we don't need this task. If you want to stop it, just select this and then click stop. That will stop the task. If you want to look at the stop task, you can go to this stopped section and you can find a set of uh, tasks that I have already stopped. 